Louisiana is no stranger to frequent hurricanes, many times multiple in one year. However, tracking when a hurricane intensifies or weakens before making landfall can be a challenge for many. Here's Colin Vidros with the latest. I will say before landfall, it can be a little tricky, especially when we're looking several days out. For many Louisianans, tracking how intense a storm can get before landfall can fluctuate, sometimes even hours before a storm hits the Pelican State. We can see signals sometimes maybe a week to 10 days in advance, but we have to wait for that storm to form to really get a better idea of where it could go. Then also, the storm will play surprises on us. You'll see the eye wall go from one location to another, which can play a big role in where the hurricane would eventually track. I will say, though, once it gets onto land, it's a little more predictable and usually weakens, so those impacts start to become a little more minimal as it continues tracking further and further inland. For residents in central Louisiana, Hurricane Francine looked as though it would bring damage toward the eastern half of the region, much like Hurricane Barrel did earlier this year. But a singular shift in one direction was all it took for Francine to head further east and out of Sinla. Uh, I was pretty confident a few days out with Barrel that while we wouldn't see the eye move directly through Sinla, that we would be on that east side of the storm and see those tornado impacts like we did with Francine, we kept seeing the eye location shift, as you mentioned, from kind of our eastern parishes to a little bit to the east. And that small shift to the east played a big or made a big difference in the impacts that we saw or lack thereof here for us in Senla. Uh, so with Francine, it was a little more difficult, especially with those last minute changes, the location of the eye constantly changing as well. And so it was a little more difficult to track. Tracking how intense a storm can be before landfall can be tricky. That's why it's always important to stay prepared. Even if a storm might miss your area by a few miles, go completely in a different direction or go right through an area. The warm ocean waters, lack of wind shear, that kind of stuff allows for rapid intensification of these storms sometimes. So we could see a category one one go to a category four in the mat in a matter of days, similar to the rapid intensification that we saw with Laura back in 2020. Staying prepared and staying informed as the peak of hurricane season passes on. In Alexandria, for News Channel 5, I'm Colin Vidros.